Okay, uh, again, balance basics again. Uh, anything from last week before we move on to whatever we're going to get into tonight? We need this picture. Anything from last week? Observations, questions, problems, insights? Anything, anything? Come on, talk to me. Anybody remember what we did last week? Now, you know, I ask this question every week because I've had a week to think about, I'm going to ask them this, or my observation was that, my insight was dot, dot. Nothing, huh? Well, Bob, yes. it's just yeah. you were so clear that no one has any questions. Yeah, I really believe that, yes. Okay. Hey, Sensei, uh, this is Patrick. Patrick. Patrick, yes, sir. Yeah, one of the things that came to me last week, um, what came to me was jumping into the darkness mm -hmm. and having fear and um, trusting that something good would happen, that a net would catch me and that accumulated energy would then kind of hold me and allow me to rebound. But the image of myself falling and kind of being fearful and flailing came to mind. And what came to mind, and it seems to me like it's the opposite this week is that there's a quiet and a stillness somewhere. Yeah, what, what I was pushing on last week, Patrick, was, uh, let me see, uh, first let me paraphrase. Say in the human identity, then there would tend to be that I got to do something, I got to jump, I got to do this crazy suicidal thing. Uh, easy with that level, easy. What I was going for last week was, the beats themselves, in this case, we're talking about the uh, dark down beat, that it itself feels itself, has innate knowledge about itself. And as we shift away from looking at it to... To... to it, it, Feeling itself. Wait, wait a minute. I don't know if you hear the noise. Yes. Yes, we do hear the echo and we're working on it. Ross Madden needs to mute. Uh, that sounds good. Okay. Right. Sorry, Sensei. I think we're good to go. Uh, again, that, that that beat is, is not an idea. And at first we start that way, we look at it or imagine what that might be. Uh, but it itself is an energy in the universe. Or, and I don't know if energy is the right word. It's a movement of the universe, a pulsation of the universe that itself is aware of itself, itself is experiencing itself itself has, for lack of words, knowledge of itself or intelligence about itself. So I was putting the emphasis on that beat, not on I got to jump kind of thing. So just to bring you up to date or whatever we're talking about here. <laughs> okay. And that whatever form people, whatever form you're going to use uh, for a trade in or to shift from uh, well, here, this one is okay. From one level to the next, to the next, uh, I use floors to represent dimensional levels. Uh, that you uh, check your style, whatever you're using, clearing, and, and play that same game with, yeah, oh yeah, I understand clearing, okay, it cleared. Uh, but to change from that, what, what they call it, awareness of, to it's a something experiencing itself has knowledge about itself so you got to shift to sensing and sense what it's sensing are those words okay 
okay? Because we tend to want to look at something and figure it out. Instead of, no, it's feeling itself. It's feeling itself, okay? See, when I used to, had a period of time talking to dogs, uh, I could look at the dog, but that's, but there had to be something there more like, and the dog has a sense about himself. What is this dog's sense? with itself. And I had to sense that. Can I just look at the dog from out here? Isn't that kind of similar? The thing itself senses itself, has intelligence about itself, awareness of itself. Uh, so check all your forms of trading in, dark downtime, whatever, and, and double check with that sense of it. See if that uh, doesn't facilitate. Okay, where the hell are we? Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Uh, Any other anything? questions for Sensei? Yeah. Oh. Hi, Sensei. It's Autumn. Hey, Autumn. Um, so a couple of weeks ago, we worked on the core. Oh, yes. And, um, it seems like a lot shifted in that period of time. Exploration. Okay. And a lot that emanation brought back a good deal of something very different, which is cool. Um, but I feel like there's something beyond it as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. That there, like, there's something beyond place of of center of core, and that that that's kind of ultimately that self experiencing itself. And I just wondered if you could speak more to that. Okay, so what I asked you to do, I think, was uh, we introduce core at different levels, physical core. A lot of people are aware of now every bodybuilding gym, uh, 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 probably yoga school, uh, uh, Pilates. Everyone's aware of core as a physical plexus uh, that can generate more energy through the body. Okay, this core emanates, so this body gets better. Now you've got finer uh, dimension, so we get into finer energy cores. A great Tai Chi master would have a finer energy core, which would radiate through, which enables him to move the way that he moves. Okay, and I said it'd be probably good for you to practice even those heavier ones at whatever level you like, because uh, I pick you up as, Again, somebody who's set up to have the uh, uh, self of the domain level self, not a Bobby self or a Robert self. Uh, we're talking about going through all these dimensions, lickety split after a while. That's why we brought up an express ele elevator. After a while, this can be very fast. It's not a fast idea. It's a, a, a fast sensing experience through all of this. My God, oh, sensei was fast. Okay, well, it's an idea. Uh, so I don't know what words to use there. Anyway, uh, so uh, I wanted yourself to position so that it's the core, the, the underlying of your energy body, physical body uh, kind of thing, uh, the undercore of your actress theater setup. Because uh, uh, my sense was that's what you set this up to do this time. And to make sure you had a strong core self at that level. So the craziness and the things moving and stuff wouldn't throw you off. That, that this inner sense of self in the domain here and now, or that all this movement and whatever goes on in your world wouldn't throw you. You'd be able to retain this. So that's why I ask you, especially, I mean, I want everybody to play core a bit, but you especially to. Uh, and to utilize the heavier form just to get a, a, a little more practice time in, but really we're going for the, for the uh, core of the self in the domain here. So, uh, did I say that okay? Yeah. What more could I add? What, what, what did I miss? The self beyond the core, maybe. Uh, well, we're talking about self in the domain. That's pretty damn fancy, lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's more, but let's hang there for quite a while or for a while. Okay. I mean, 
that tells us we've extricated or got out of the prison, the craziness, the maze of manifest suddenly you have a chance to get free from all of that and be a more original self, not the most original self yet, but damn, what a major step this is. We self in that first returner's domain. And a lot can be done just at that level. But I'd like to hang at that level because remember you're, I'm talking to everybody here, you're returning after years and years of being caught up in the heaviness uh, uh, the wrappings of the manifest, okay? And even many lifetimes are being wrapped up in the manifest. And, and we're now able to slip out of that potentially, okay? Self in the domain. Uh, so let's take a, a breather there. Let's hang out there and uh, soak there. And, and, and I, it's like you, you just got out of a horrible marriage. Okay, you just got divorced. Oh, don't remarry the next moment, dear God. Uh, let's let's hang out here for a bit. Is that oh, okay? Um, and and then we'll say now I'll throw in next when I'm ready to throw out next. But this is a very important place. This returner's domain. I'm calling it now. Okay the returner, the self that's been involved in the manifest, finally uh, unwound, easied his way out. Ah, and we got a chance to play in this domain. It gets a pretty fancy place, okay? Uh, a lot more can be done than I'm aware of, but we'll pick that up as I play there more and hang out with other beings who are playing there. Uh, but it's a pretty cool place, okay? Um, Right now, in working with Susan, we're working with a lot of selves who uh, are banged up physically, not functioning as well as they could physically. And in some cases, mental is throwing off their proper lineup. So we're, we're practicing working with those selves to help get them to be better positioned self, more alive as self, as opposed to just a concept about self. Uh, and to have that self position better with the person, the person where we, we use that word person to mean the physical person or the person in whatever levels of manifest that, that this is an underlying pattern. It's an overlaid pattern. It's my three, three layer cake is trying to say that it's just the uh, domain one is the underlying of those. It's uh, when we get there, it then becomes this is first and heavier is next. And I've added another piece. Physical heavier is, is next. Uh, so that inner, uh, I say manifesting, or sense it's, it's emanating. Uh, as that self catches, there's a core there, okay, uh, that that emanates, affecting the person. Uh, did I lose you <laughs> there? We really covered quite a lot, so help help bring me back. I'm afraid we've lost Autumn. We lost Autumn. She's dropped Autumn. off. She's dropped uh, off. I don't blame her. I would have dropped off too if I was still in the back. But I was talking to everybody here. Okay. Uh, she's uh, back now, Sensei. Sorry. Uh, she's back. Yes. My Wi-Fi is not strong. <laughs> oh, wrong person. Sorry. <laughs> Autumn, are you uh, there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, so, if you heard what I said, any any uh, kickback on on whatever I said was that was that kind of okay? Yes. Um, so, the last thing we left off on is that it's a pretty fancy place, and that there's a lot to be gleaned there. Apparently, so. Yeah, I, I don't have all that down yet. But apparently, a lot can go on with that as your central core, with self in the domain as the central core. Apparently, a hell of a lot can go on there. Mm. Okay. And 
I don't know if this is useful to talk about because I think you've spoken about it before and probably going to speak about it tonight as well, but kind of that, I want to say core wound almost, that core, the, the stuff, the obstacles, the, the rocks that you mentioned in previous sessions that kind of come up that have to be surrendered through and softened through and easy the eyed through. Okay. Yeah, you're talking about the manifest, yeah. 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 And, and again, once you get where basics come in, uh, up, it's important, is once you get some sense of using some simple pattern like that, of dimensionally how things work, Bobby settles down a bit with a sense of a little bit deeper and different ways to look at it. I sometimes consider it a pool of energy, often the next deeper floor, and then it's a finer dimension. And from that floor, energies mix up a Robert. And I suddenly notice I'm straighter. I feel a little fuller. The voice is just beginning to change a bit. I, I can I hear it echo in my area someplace here a bit. Uh, I, I feel this little bit of inner strength starting to happen. That was just a moment. But I've done this so many times, I can get fairly fast at it. Uh, so I think once you get a sense of dimensionality, uh, then you don't have to hit every damn dimension. My God, in the manifest, it'll go on and on because it'll be finer and then much finer and then very much finer. You go on and on and on. Once you get a fair sense of it, then we can, what to say, cut to the chase. Okay. So again, I'll sense they said some people will catch it earlier. They'll get enough balance where the self that's in there someplace starts to holler or show itself or something. Some people catch it early and others will catch it later. And I infer there later means they have to go to a little finer dimension of balance before the self that's there will. <laughs> okay. Well, since they said some will miss it completely meaning they get so caught up in the fineness of the dimensionality, the fineness of the dimensionality, they don't hear this self that's in there someplace. They're really caught up in, oh, how beautiful this is, or how harmonious this is, or uh, what, whatever. And, and they'll miss it, unfortunately. So where the hell are we? Um, okay, one more question. Okay. Uh, so you're moving through the manifest and at these different layers and you're continually recontacting either. It seems like you kind of start at the level that you stopped at if you're doing the practice regularly. Uh, not necessarily so. Okay. Uh, no, that could be, you could be wording that two different ways. Uh, if on Monday I hit a good level, okay. Oh, really harmony, harmony here. And, and, uh, and I check myself character at this level. Oh, not a bad guy here. Cool. Okay. Tuesday. But before I get to go back at it again, Tuesday, I've been involved in all kinds of mad crap. And I got pissed off over here and I got, you know, whatever. I can't expect to just instantly be at this level again. I'm a human being when I start. I got to settle down a bit and a bit, but after a while you get much faster, much faster. So, but there's kind of two ways of, of asking that question. I'm not quite sure which way you were at asking it. It seems a deeper level is more accessible sometimes. And then I have a question about what kind of responsibility can mean within that. What your take on that is. Go ahead, responsive. <laughs> okay, where, where are you now? You're in the manifest and you're playing a process? Is that where, where we are? I think so. I think it might be a, a portal, a vehicle. I like the word vehicle because we use the word travel vehicle to represent this trading in or the dark downtime. They're travel vehicles to more quickly go through all these heavier dimensions. You know, I used to call it go doggo. And I'd say, well, it's, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's like a flood river here and there's dead cows floating by in barns and bing, bang, go doggo. 
That was my first presentation of Down Deep Darker. Okay. Uh, <laughs> dear God. Uh, so anyway, I like that. That you mention that word because travel vehicle is, is an old word of mine. Uh, and where, where are we? <laughs> what uh, are we doing? Responsibility. I don't know what that means. Where are you in the manifest that you suddenly feel responsible about something? You have to tell me where you're at because I can't just jump on that word and do anything with that word. So it feels like there's this word of, of presence and awareness and experiencing itself at the different layers of this self. So you've got maybe even the manifest hidden and sometimes the divine, but that- oh, Don't go that far. Right, okay. Okay. So <laughs> opening to those levels and going deeper still, right? Okay. And there is an integration that can happen that feels like it happens at a more full level at like a, I don't know, for lack of a better word, all integral level, if there's more responsibility taken, if there, it's it's not amends, but it kind of feels like that. It feels like this responsibility to to the the trade in. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, flip me something. Yeah, I'd be careful the word responsibility because for me that's like I gotta do something because this is very important. Okay. And I wouldn't head that way exactly, but but there's something here. Uh, maybe more like you realize as you're trading in at the level you might be taught, where it's moving into a much better level, where because you're a, a bigger person, a finer person, a, a stronger person, that you have more responsibility. It might be that type of thing that you're picking up where, uh, I don't know, your system says, we're going to allow you to enter this finer level of you where you'll be whatever, prettier, precocious, powerful, something. And But now you're going to have more responsibility. It doesn't mean I got to become responsible. It just mean, okay, I'll open more. So there's a proper balance here. So that person, me, at with that le level does proper with this. If you inherit money, do proper with the money. I can think of some horrendous things I would do with money and have fun. That's the way I am. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I want to take, oh my God, I'm responsible. I got to figure this out. I got to do this. Don't go there. Don't people, don't go there. Don't go there. You're responsible to settle and trust, settle and open, trust the energies and how they mix and whatever qualities they are, they're there, trust them. But I got to understand them. I got to figure them out. No, you don't. Just allow them. Easy. Hang up. Hang out. Wait. We'll see. Let them. Let them. But I got to figure them out. No, you just screwed it up. Of course, you'd like to figure them out, but don't go there. You see, I allow them. I allow them. Okay. I don't know. Let's use colors as a dumb example. I settle and suddenly there's a whole bunch of red floating around. I got to figure out what red is and what I should do with it. No, 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 no. Let red, red. Easy. Easy. And let more red, red. Easy. And as you do that, you can start to sense the real meaning of red or texture. I'm, I'm, I didn't like the word meaning because I didn't want people to start thinking about the meaning. Uh, uh, the, the sense that red has with itself. Okay. As they sort of play the game of red is feeling itself, the word courageous is just jamming through me. Okay, so there's a first sense is a courageous thing. Okay. Uh, a little sense of something related like blood. Easy. And I go, oh, I got to think about blood. Oh, yeah, blood system in the blood in the human system. I don't go there. Stop it. Red itself trying to express itself. Go so back to the red blood. Okay, easy. There's something about life that life moves, life movement. Easy. 
let's just hang out and feel these things, uh, sense, experience these things, which is a hell of a lot different than thinking about these things. If you think about them, you can spin off into no, not important land or way off track. Stay and experience. If you experience, there will be knowledge, but not knowledge before the experience. Experience, knowledge sort of naturally happens. Okay. That kind of thing? Yeah. Ah. Okay, so that's like the opposite side, right? The responsibility. The the idea of responsibility, which actually feels more like maybe courageousness and and maybe being willing to en the feeling I get is kind of willingness to engage in a different way or um, uh, a different level of presence, for lack of a better word. But then, like, where is it useful to also call in like compassion with that or something that is more okay well, well don't you call in shit okay if it shows then you can soak in it and play what i was playing but no i i gotta decide how to be spiritual so i'll call in this and then we, oh yeah i'll call in that oh uh, uh saint joe had a lot of good luck with his quality i'll call that one in stop it you're sitting in your own system, in your own lineup, in your own creation. It's all there, but you're going to hang out with it and open to it and whatever. So watch out for ideas other people put in your head about what you should be feeling or experiencing, what quality should be there. You'll have enough with what burbles up, what, what shows itself in the here and now I have enough to deal with there okay watch out for trying to follow somebody else's pattern see my color system meaning what i'll run into is different than yours okay i'm a warrior type not that all my life's have been warrior not that all my life's have been male but i tend to be a male warrior in a lot of lives i've done a lot of raping and pillaging in my day <sighs> Uh, you don't have that mix. I've seen your a, a bit of your yourself. You, you don't have some of that. You 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 may have strength, but you don't have the bam that I have. My color mix is different than yours. Follow your own color mix. I'm not telling people what color to be. I'm saying here is the system we're in, and here are things that could help you get into the better of yourself the better of your qualities, the better of your, oh, since I like the word purpose after a bit, of your purpose in creation, how you set it up, okay? So basically, I'm just trying to help people line up with themselves. Trust yourself. Okay. <laughs> Trust the, this, how creation was created. That's real intelligence and harmony and all that stuff here. Just trust it, okay? And it will be self-explanatory as you allow it, open to it, to hang out there. We could say soap there for a bit and see how that clarifies. It, it will, it will clarify its intelligence. Okay? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Good enough for now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Art. Uh, so that was a good, I think, go around for basics, people. No? <laughs> uh, okay. Where the hell are we? Oh, Sensei's basics again. He liked, he liked. Okay. Uh, one of the things he liked was fire water, kind of esoteric for a lot of Westerners, but should mention it. Okay. Uh, I, I like that one myself. So I used to play with it a, a lot. And I would uh, do the first centered form, fire up and water down. Okay. I just settle and open. After a bit, you can begin to uh, 
sense feel the fire up and end the water down. Okay, so uh, then it seemed that when there was an equal balance of fire to the water, when they were more equal and balanced, see if you got too much fire, the water will just dissipate, right? If you get too much water, the fire is drowned out. So the harmony between the fire to the water and back, uh, that's when it steams. So you can actually, after a bit, sense the steam. And I continue a bit more, of course, with the fire or water, uh, uh, fuller steam or something, okay? To me, steam represents the balance at the level you're, at that present level, you're playing with with fire water. It's showing balance. That's not the end of it. So if you're doing a little more advanced, you want to say something like through this steam, who's here or what dimension am I in? You don't stop at the steam. You don't stop at balance. You recognize the balance in whatever form it's showing. In this case, it'll show a steam because you're playing fire water, uh, but do continue it through the steam, okay? Because uh, there should be something more there than just steam. Uh, now, as you get more advanced with fire and water, the darn thing uh, doubles up on you. So you get the fire, water, and then you get water, fire, okay? For me, that started to include, see, I'm a center guy originally, and it started to include the, and I would do my center fire water, and then this other beat would start to happen, water fire, and that would be the uh, realm beat, universe beat, the circle beat. Uh, so you naturally do a, a, a double up fire to the water, water to the fire, okay? Ah. Uh, and again, steam, there'd be more probably heavier sense of the steam there. Tells you you're at a good balanced place. And where are you through that? What, what level are you at? What dimension are you at? Who is the character there now? Something to, to go through the steam. So the steam in that case is kind of like a uh, travel vehicle brought you to a place. Boom, here's the place. Anyway, well, since I like fire, water, steam, for some Westerners, that's a little weird esoteric. Uh, I kind of liked it. I played with it for some years. It was fun. Um, uh, the Chinese use it, uh, Noah? Chinese use it at one stage of their uh, core work. Uh, there's a fire, water, steam at a certain level of core that they mentioned? I know we can't hear you. Noah, you're muted. Please unmute. There we go. Yes, Sensei, that's right. <laughs> a lot of emphasis on balance of fire water and, and then the steam that's produced becomes purer and purer as you do that. Yeah, yeah. So the Chinese picked it up at a, an energy level uh, core. Yes, that's right. Oh, here's fire water here. And they use that fire water. I believe the Western alchemists also used fire water. Okay. So, oh, since they wasn't the first or the last. <laughs> so fire One water. Best. <laughs> I think the Chinese had a lot about the strengthening factor at that level. They were work, working at fire and water and, and strength. And when I was a little kid, I lived in Canada for a while and there, there was a, the family uh, had a little uh, non-disca, um, foundry, no. Uh, Smithy, blacksmith. Huh? Yeah. Black furnace. Blacksmith place. And they heat the thing, they'd stick it in water, check, see how it was, and they heat it again, make the heat it, make the correction, stick it in water. So their fire water steaming at that level was producing a stronger piece of metal. So 
that's my history. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay. Oh, sensei, oh, sensei. Uh, and remember the uh, continuous fire water. Remember, okay, so the Chinese were talking a lot about it at a, at a particular dimensional level of energy, so finer energy level, and say the finest, a finer level, where they caught that. And they caught that that core, and the fire, water, steam, could radiate or manifest or glow out and affect things. That's where the bones would probably get a little stronger. And they realized, whoa, it's hard to break my bones here. Uh, but remember, we're doing bigger work. Uh, so we want you to sense, if you're using fire, water, to, to have a bigger sense of that all in the universe fire, all in the universe water, uh, centered and circled, okay? And, and that steam should bring you to some, definitely should be able to bring you to some, uh, through that to the domain of self, okay? So uh, don't get caught up in just steaming in a little piece. Good, you wanna hang out, pick up some tricks, they're cool. But remember, these are universally symbolic, actually active. Okay, so don't know if I said that right, but anyway. Oh, sensei. Uh, again, he liked the Yayi Mami, thought it was good for you guys. Um, center to the circle, circle to the center. There we're picking up uh, it represents the beats of two original forces, the great center, the great circle. For me, I would call that the great he, the great she, but whatever you want to call it. Okay, but for me, this is a he and that's a she. Uh, and that you get harmony between those two. And whenever you get harmony uh, using the he, she type pattern, then you're going to get a breeding, which is the better level of me at that level. Okay, it's going to mix up or breed <sighs> character. Uh, so anyway, the Yayi Mami, uh, again, when we did that in, in class on a Friday night, uh, a lot of people responded back to me that they really, really liked that. We're really getting something out of that. So continue with it. Uh, and again, oh, do be careful with chanting that, uh, let's see if I can find the right words, that you don't spiritually adore. That's not the right phrasing. Uh, uh, Tej, are you on? He is not, Bob. He's not here. He had okay. to leave, Sensei. Okay. Um, we are just talking about this once upon a time. Uh, that you, uh, uh, oh, oh, that's a finer sound. Whoa. Uh, don't get into that, I don't know what to call that, spiritual appreciation and go God got over it a certain way. It's a vibration rate. Okay. The vibrations of yeah, up to the mommy and the vibration back. Uh, okay. And to have a sense experience of those vibrations. Okay. So that as we get that balance, again, someplace in there, you'll be able to transition if you've got a calling from inner self to there, go for self in the domain. Okay. You okay so far? So a different balance pattern, but the same possibility of, uh, I don't know what words to use, how to utilize that, uh, how to take advantage of that to get back to self in the domain, which is the next much bigger piece underlying all of this here and now. Ugh, damn the words. Uh, it's just some people in, in, I don't know the right words, adoring that, uh, tend to stay at that level and they don't pick up the aliveness. This is like they, they go too aware of 
and don't have any of the experience of, and damn, we need that piece very much, very much, okay? And I'll bitch about that probably forever because there is a preponderance of aware and people from the very get-go miss that. They jumped in quick on the awareness of, and they missed it. It's for lack of words, its partner is experience. So if you could say a great self is talking to itself, it would say experiencing, oops, experiencing I am aware, aware I experience. And that's all within a, 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 a much more developed self, maybe even a soul self level. Um, but we, uh, we are, potentially lacking on the experience is still uh you can even see it in daily life a lot of awareness of but very little in some cases experience of or people get confused and they sort of double up on their awareness so if i really 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 become aware of it that means i'm experiencing it it's like no you just went more and more and more you went into this in depth but you still didn't have the experience boom Okay. Ah, ah, the words, the words. Okay, moving along. Oh, sensei, oh, sensei. Ah, uh, the dark beats. Okay. Said so there are different types of travel vehicle or beats. Uh, he especially liked the dark beat. Uh, Again, in Japan, you think uh, the dark is, is weird to the Westerners. He said Japan, very bad about the dark. They, they just think that's bad stuff. Okay. Uh, he may have used... Uh, uh, maybe he used Nen no Kuni. Uh, Lauren, Nen no Kuni? Uh, could be too many things. Uh, give me a moment, I'll come back. Referring to down dark, bad shit. No? Maybe okay. I phrased it wrong. I, I'm, I'll come back to you in just a moment. Oh, okay. I can catch you another time. No, no importante. Uh, so that trade in of dark now let's say we're at a bobby level okay and bobby gets a little tired he goes wait a minute people i can't run anymore there's his downtime if he touches his basic floor level for like a word the basic floor level then he'll be Bobby again, but revived. Okay, troops, I can run for another half mile, maybe. So he's, he's just, the tired one is traded in and has revived, but he's still Bobby. Okay, that's okay. It's a nice, useful daily life trick. All right. If you're exhausted watching dishes, you just take a moment. Ah, you, I use like floors for reference. Ah, and from that floor, ah, and more energies mix up through the system, and you're a revived dishwasher. You can continue scrubbing away there. Isn't that exciting? Uh, and we have used these. I don't know if people have noticed how often they actually do a downtime. Uh, we say, give me a moment. Uh, let me think about that for a bit. Uh, and what they're doing is a downtime. So if you were, I think we brought this up one Friday, if you were to check uh, certain pauses that you do and reference them in terms of downtime, you see we use that a lot, okay? okay. Now, okay. now, once we start to get a sense of what's really going on with that or how that can really facilitate, let's try that. Uh, then we want to take advantage of it. Now, what we did, I think, a week or so ago was try to have you in feeling the dark down, as an example. Uh, don't just look at it and think about it, okay? But play this game of 
feeling it. It's feeling itself. You experience what it's feeling about itself. It has a sense of itself. It has intelligence about itself. So instead of just a, I'm over here and now the shade is going down. Okay. And now I know uh, you weren't involved enough. And right there comes a lot of fears about the dark. Okay. Uh, so we've tried to cover on a few different nights uh, the properness that this is here. Where I come up with the dumb stories like, I don't think the tree really bitches when up. Uh, uh, fall and winter come into play. It says, oh, it's that time. Oh, okay. And then it accepts its downtime, does something, goes deeper in roots, enjoys the downtime, let's say. Haven't hung out with a tree enough to know how it uh, enjoys, let's say. And then comes springtime, it starts to blossom out again. And it's probably grown bigger. It's producing brighter or more blossoms, and it's going to produce better, bigger, tastier fruit. So it took advantage of the downtime, and uh, and it's very natural. Okay, so I said, "My God, if the tree can do it, what's wrong with us? We fight it. We're afraid of it, and all of that." So trying to have you have a sense of the real sense of the dark, and try the other trade in forms. Uh, uh, with that same game that they're experiencing themselves and have intelligence about themselves. And it'll give you a little bit different or a better sense of things than just using it as a word. Oh yeah, you trade in and then da da. Nice word, but no experience there, you know? Uh, so, uh, where the hell are we going here? Oh, since I like the, the down dark, he said, uh, um, that uh, we're in Japan, that down dark is not well liked, has a bad rep. Uh, he kind of liked it, okay? Takeda liked it. Takeda is what's his quote, jujitsu teacher. Uh, he liked it, okay? And it helped him to become one hell of a warrior, Takeda. Okay. Uh, so, uh, to find the niceness of dark is what I've been trying to push a little bit. That the dark itself is nice and is more than just a dark shade being pulled down. And uh, something I have to put up, I don't want to, but not those is it's natural. So I'll put up with it. Come on. Feel it, feeling itself. It's aware of itself. It's experiencing and hang out with that. Okay. So uh, Chicago, uh, Richard. You want? I thought I saw you on Chicago, Richard. No. I uh, was talking last week about soaking, uh, long-term soaking in in the dark. I'm sorry, Sensei. He's not on tonight. Hmm. I thought I saw his name. Okay. Uh, he got bored. He jumped out. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he was doing a long term soaking in the dark. And I said, that's cool, but just don't forget, we're not going to stop, stop there. That that's, that dark is sort of has a direction in the sense of deeper under. And there'll be a trade into the next boom. Okay. And so I kind of liken it to a, a curtain in the theater closing. And then when it opens, the next scene, brand new scene is there. I, I kind of, for me, I kind of like that thing of it. Anyway, so oh, since they like dark now, but he also said there's other forms and uh, be familiar with some of the others. He said, you'll have your favorite, but do play with some of the others. So you can play with a trade in, you can play with uh, clearing, you can play with, uh, uh, Bob, I'm going blank. No, give me a reminder here. Trade in clearing. Downtime. Yeah, I put the downtime in with the dark myself. Yeah. Uh, letting go. Letting go. go. Yeah. Letting go. Anyway, uh, so. Huh? Clearing. Clearing. Yeah. Uh, 
anyway, you, you get the general drift of, of that. Uh, what else? Oh, sensei, oh, sensei, oh, sensei. And so Nado Sensei, I think that uh, looked in my dictionaries, and I'm pretty sure that if O Sensei said Nen no Kuni in the context of this sort of discussion that you're having tonight, that he probably meant it was the country of thought or the country of concept. And uh, uh, then I, I maybe used the wrong words. He's talking about something about the deep dark and how people are ah, with that. So uh, I'll have to go find those. I'll get back to you another day. Thank you, sir. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, could have inferred the thought about death and dark and stuff could have been that that, but it was heavily referring to this long, this deeper under thing. So that could be right, but it takes away the emphasis of what I'm trying to say. Deep, dark, oh, anyway. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, a reminder about basic patterns. I don't know. Uh, I think basic, basic, basic human being level. Okay. Um, as you begin to feel yourself, feel your body, basically, feel yourself more you probably begin to notice when the energies zip through you, whether they're pulling you down or pushing you up and out, uh, might notice those and, and uh, deal more properly with them. Um, properly being easy, don't try to think them to death, easy, settle, open a bit, allow them, okay? Because they're going to, if they're energies, they're going to mix up a better level of you, okay? If they're pulling you down, then it's following the down pattern. Down to a certain level, and at that level, bing, it's the next set. So your next center circle, your next finer energies, or more of your finer energies are there, and they mix up naturally the character. Character has a core. Uh, where are we? Uh, so as a human being, don't forget those simple basics of, and when you settle and open, be prepared for there to be more energy coming through. So if you're settling and opening and suddenly catch your palms are heating up or your fingers are starting to tingle, it's like, of course, you're settling and opening the energies can activate and start to flow around more, okay? And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to flow around as part of the mix of you, part of that uh, uh, breeding. Uh, sense in advanced form, of sense would say recreate yourself. Well, let's keep it simpler. Mix up a better level of you or a little, little more advanced, breed a better level of you because the energies tend to take on sort of a male-female type thing in the manifest. Uh, as you continue in the domain, uh, after a bit, there isn't any sort of distinction. You're neither male nor female. Uh, so thank God we'll get past that. Oh, but all you guys are this and oh, yeah, who understands what women are saying or whatever, whatever. You, you, you can get past that le level. I almost sometimes don't like to bring up in the earlier, heavier, a male-female, because people immediately start doing their human male-female insanity. But at finer levels, it all begins to change and improve and show its truer nature. So where did I, what I, what I get on to there? Uh, we got somebody, where are we? What are we doing? Where are you? 
Oh, yeah, good. Uh, so again, this simple human thing, I'm a 10 pounder. If I'm a tired 10 pounder, ah, I take a moment, a minute, a few minutes, whatever, and I touch it, that level floor of myself, and then I catch my breath, so to speak, and I'm a revived 10 pounder. Okay. Good. Wow, what a nice trick. Useful little trick. But now you get sharper with it. Like, hmm, if I can be revived just doing this thing for a minute, what if as a 10 pounder, I go a bit deeper to the next floor? And from that floor, because there's more energies, I call them pool of energies, so it's for a dumb reference. The more energies mix up, and I'm suddenly a 20 pounder. I can feel it happening already. My spine really wants to straighten. What else? Ah, no, what else? Experience it. I'm positioned a bit lower in my body. My, my hips kind of activated a bit. And my body presence is a little bit more. And on and on and on. Uh, so we're able to skip just re-beating a 10-pounder over and over. But that's a good trick in the human level. My God, it's a great trick. Uh, but to catch on how it works and go for a deeper floor and be a 20-pounder. And you... Is that you? Yeah, you're right. You're so yeah. Can they, they can't see me, can they? Yeah, you're still on. I'm still on? Yeah. Oh, sorry. So you find Brad something. Is, no problem. Okay. Brad is goofing up back here. There, there he is. Okay. Uh, that if you can do that to a 20 pounder, a floor, uh, gee, what if we sense better and better, deeper and deeper, and we can go much quicker to. Boom, kind of, it's kind of like a Shazam kind of thing. Boom, you're going to be a 40 pounder really quick. Okay. But you have to practice a little bit, get the sense of how it works and stuff. Uh, and then later, we should be able to, to go much faster, which is what we we're trying to point at last week or whenever about the express ele elevator. Let's stop with uh, a little bit deeper floor. Now I'm a 12 pounder and uh, Maybe, and now I'm a little deep run. Maybe I'm a 13 pounder, but I'm not sure. And, uh, and on and on and on and on. Uh, once you get a sense of it, we sense finer through these levels. Boom. Again, I'll sense they got to be damn fast. Okay. Once you get a sense of dimensionality a bit, and most of you 40, 50 year people, for God's sake, especially. You should have a pretty good sense of dimensionality. I mean, we've been laying that out every damn class for umpteen years, right? Just then you get a sense of it and, and you can zip through with your sense. Now, careful of that word. I use the word sense as an experiential movement through. Don't misunderstand that I'm saying think your way through. Okay, I think... I think I'm going through all those dimensions and now here I am, Shazam, I'm all powerful. It's, it's not an idea that way. It's a sense experience that's moving quickly through dimensions. Don't know how, quite how to get that across, what words I should use. Uh, but anyway, we've been hinting at that when we bring up things like express elevator, we're hinting at that capability through dimensions. So after a bit in, in say the dark, say you're using dark time and you realize that, oh, dark a little bit, and then you come up revived, your revived 10 pounder that once you catch that, you can eventually start to go bigger with that, have a sense of the uh, uh, bigger, of that, that it's dark throughout the whole universe, eventually dark through the whole universe. And, and I didn't quite make it, but boom, and there. I'm still in finer, I didn't make it to domain yet, but uh, a finer manifest. Uh, but, but you see kind of 
you get a sense maybe of how that works. So, uh, so your basic would be uh, in simple daily life things, recognize when you do a little down times, when you pause, uh, uh, when you say to somebody, give me a moment, why? Okay. Somebody asks you a question about something you sort of should know the answer, but suddenly you don't even know the answer in your own business. You say, give, give me a moment and you uh, click and then you go, oh yeah, of course. And you lay out the answer. What did you do in that time? So I think if we, uh, for simple daily practice uh, and to function better in this physical world of Bobby, uh, that we catch when we use those down times in, or whatever word that you use, trade in times, uh, clearing times, whatever. Again, I like the dark word. So, uh, and just uh, catch when you do it, how you do it, how often you do it, what it really means so that we can take advantage of it more. Uh, good, good daily life trick, okay? They said, you know, do dumb stuff with the workshop people. Uh, uh, if they were business people, I'd say, uh, and in those days, uh, in interruptions. They hated interruptions. They were the biggest problem. If you did a survey, they'd say interruptions. And so I'd use an example, some, if I can remember that now. Hang on. Uh, uh, the phone rings. You don't have to pick it up on the first ring. <sighs> Second ring is going on. Don't panic. Ah. Pick it up on the third ring. But now this person is the listener. And you're there in that conversation. Or you're there being a good listener. You pick it up too fast. And the guy talks to you and say, wait, wait. Could you just repeat what you said? Because what you're really saying, I wasn't really here. I wasn't really ready. Why did you pick up the damn phone? So I would tell them, waste time to save time my presentation for time savings people kind of thing. Uh, anyway uh, so uh, a simple balance basics uh, you can use in daily life and they're good reminders about the bigger of it so we could say well maybe I don't expect you at first to be able to do a big time trade in or down time but uh, but to reference it, reference it kind of clearly. Ooh, give me a moment. Ah, okay, da da. Uh, it, that will facilitate. That's sort of what I was saying to Autumn about Autumn. Don't mind practicing physical core games and energy core games. Just to, just to get a sense. I know you really want to major in uh, self in the domain, rightfully so and that it has a core, uh, but to get a little in the manifest practice, can't can hurt, what the hell, why not? Okay. Uh, woo. Fine. Uh, so I don't know if we covered anything intelligent proper tonight. Uh, Excuse me, Chris, Chris from New Zealand. Chris. Would, would you use that same pattern as, you, as the domain presence, uh, that sort of percentage, would you use that same sort of downtime to help map through that or into that or increase that percentage? Okay, I got totally lost. I'm sorry, Chris, sorry. can you please just move a little closer to your microphone? Thank you. I'm gonna chuck the other one in, sorry. So going through the process and with the end, getting closer to what you'd experience the domain. Okay, well, wait now, you gotta remind me what we're talking about. Which process are you talking about? So I'm a downtime. I'm okay, down. Downtime process. Downtime process. Okay. Moving through, it, going through the dimensions, and then the domain presence, presence is, and percentage is increasing. Would you still keep using the downtime to help line up? Use that process. Why not? A bit. Yeah. I just normally get a bit puzzled. That's safe, happy. I know. I mean, that could be your major if you really like that one. 
again, reminding you of census that try a few of the others also. But if you like that one, should be potentially a daily. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Trying to remember, I'm sure I asked El Sente about that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, why you got a good thing going? Why stop now? Kind of thing. <laughs> Certain things continue through the manifest into the domain. Okay, certain main patterns. For example, uh, in the domain, there's still a, a, a personal, whether we call it a self experiencing itself, but that's a personal, that's your self. It's not my self, it's your self. So in the manifest, we've gone through Bobby and Robert Nadeau, very personal. It continues. Okay even to the next major change. Uh, it looks like there's a center circle set up in the domain. So that somehow continues. Uh, uh, that core, the self in the domain uh, seems to show a core. Uh, the better it balances with its awareness of itself, experience of itself, the better those cores seem to glow. So that's an ongoing. Uh, so many things carry over into the domain that were important in the manifest and they carry over into the domain. Uh, now, since it's it two things there. One, uh, the texture of those things in the domain is different. They may still be there, but the, there's a, some kind of texture change. Make of that what you will, okay? And uh, what else? Oh, and the dark, if you're majoring on the dark one, he says the dark has, a, at that level, has a different, I don't know, some like feeling about itself. Uh, maybe more the, see again, in the studying from human, dark again has a little bad sense sometimes, but by the time you get to the dark to the domain, the dark is starting to show more of its truer nature, I pick it up like it's sweeter and uh, I don't know, I just, whoa, this is nice kind of thing. Uh, that the dark, I don't know the words, changes, presents itself different, shows, shows the truer, truer of its experience of itself and the words, okay? Um, so anyway, you have to understand, uh, again, back, I ask people in the manifest, whatever level, you got a nice idea, hey, that's nice. Now, what's the supportive energy, okay? You understand what centering is? And I say, let me see it. Let me see the center. Let me push your arm up or whatever. To reference that the center at some level is actually there. Okay. To try to tie this upper to the lower and lower to the upper together better. You know what's going to happen in the domain? I'm asking you to do the same damn thing. Because that continues there where it's aware of itself, alive with itself, alive with itself. It's aware of itself. If you had been paying attention, huh, I, I started to point that out when we first introduced, I think, uh, self in the domain and I pushed on it's feeling its own aliveness. So I started pushing on that right away because I knew you'd have a tendency just the way beings are. Don't take you personally. When I say you, I mean all you characters in creation uh, have a, a high tendency to go into the awareness of it. And it may lose you totally with your awareness of it. And yeah, it's nice, wow, and all of that, but but your math is off. You are off because you don't have the full proper balance, if you would. So that uh, uh, da to da goes on in the domain still. Okay. All right. Um, well, since I used the word consolidation, and I. Uh, 
didn't have quite have a sense of how he was using that position. And then he'd almost immediately say consolidation. We talked about positioning uh, a week or so, a couple of weeks ago, whenever. So position, and then in the position, uh, aware, experiencing or experiencing, I am aware, he called that, that consolidation. And when there's more and more consolidation, this core thing glows better. He didn't say glow. I like the word glow. He said radiates. No, that's my word. He said emanate, emanate. So positioning, consolidation, core emanation, da 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 da. But anyway, certain things continue through the manifest. They're, they're kind of basics. How the creation originally created, we could say, uh, there are certain basics in there that continued into very heavy and are still going on in the finer and are still going on in the pre uh, of manifest into what we're calling the uh, returner's domain, returning self's domain. Okay. How much more they continue uh, when you eventually maybe line up to the heavenlies, we'll see. But re retain certain majors. If you're not sure, at least be open in the domain for what's showing and how it's showing with that, I feel like the words, in mind. Okay. Best I can say it, the words are a bitch here, people. Uh, eating up time, somebody, anything? Thank you. Uh, Chris, thank you. Oh, come on, lie to me. You can't even tell me lies. What are we gonna do here, people? <laughs> Hey, Sensei, it's Justin in Miami. How are you? Now here, here, here comes an A1 liar right now. Yes, Justin. <laughs> I just um, I just wanted to uh, to reinforce how important it was um, for for us when you mentioned the daily life uh, stuff. In that, um, in my own in practice, and what I'm seeing is that um, people who wait until they're in a situation and then go into a process sometimes uh don't have right. the time the time it takes um so so um we've been suggesting that to to work your process when it's easy when you're feeling comfortable and good uh this way you won't be blindsided or surprised by things that come up because you're going to set the stage um and make room for the things that haven't come up yet i'll let you steal so, my words here Practice in the summer so it'll be there in the winter. You're free to use that. Yes. <laughs> but that, yeah. that piece has been uh, insanely helpful for, for many people to don't wait until you're surprised. Do it yeah. when it's easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like your early morning practice uh, kind, kind of thing. Uh, just to at least set up your sense of it. So if something happened because you have a good sense of it, bing, bang, even if it's only that much center, at least it's centered or whatever, rounded or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, since he did it, he had his morning set. Yeah. Where he set up certain things. So if anything happened and he could just go click, and there was O Sensei as, as we really know him. But he had set it up. The sense of it, uh, I don't know what to say, it was there waiting for, if anything, for this lesser, he was, yeah, I mean, he was that, this old man, he was, you know, whatever. Uh, but if he, there was a situation, uh, ping, because he had set it up, bang, there was O Sensei. He was fast, okay. And you like to play that game with, with people. Look at this old man, look at what he can do. He's trying to show them the, in a certain way, the overlay or 
that you can tap it pretty quick once you catch on to how things work. Uh, so we like to use that phrase. Look at you see this old man? Boom, boom. And he'd screw him over, you know, or <laughs> make him look like fools or uh, hold out the strongest guy in town with his finger or whatever, you know, whatever. He, he enjoyed finding her out. It tickled him. Uh, but yeah, in, in, with the uh, people uh, that you deal with, I'm sure a lot of these simple tricks, if they catch them sort of, I want to say how, how it works or, or, or what it represents, uh, and it's simple enough so they'll actually practice it or touch on it, they, uh, they'll come back with you and say, wow, I feel so much better since that, 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 or I function so much, or you ought to see my golf game, you know, since you talked a little bit about centering, uh, with the hopes that they continue with that and get into the deeper, for lack of words, of it. And when I taught, I did a couple of workshops with golfers, for Christ's sakes. Uh, I didn't care about their damn golf game. Give a shit less. But I thought if I can show them a little grounding and centering, I know their strokes, their strikes, their whatever, it's going to get better. With the hopes that they'll be enthused about that and with the hopes that they'll have a sense of, whoa, what's the more of this thing? that they would go more with it. They're coming at a human level, so I don't know. But anyway, that was my, my hopes. Teach them something uh, simple, but that's based on the truth. That's important. It's got to be based on the truth. It's got to be... Um, a, 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 if you're teaching them center, you're kind of home free because center goes on through the whole universe. If you're talking about some degree of harmony with the situation you're in it, show them something simple about a two beat pattern or however you want to lay that out for them. That's cool because the beats of that vast circle that's there, uh, yeah, it gets finer and finer and finer. So you're not steering them wrong, I think is what I'm trying to say, even though you only teach them a little bit because that's all they can take at the moment. Uh, that little bit can go to that a bit and that a bit can go to that a bit. Uh, and it's not your responsibility to see if they follow. So you hope they will, you know, uh, whatever, whatever. And I, I try to, I try to make it something that it's, it's relevant to their lineage or what they're lining up as yeah. well. So it fits easily in with their. Yeah. Don't teach a golfer how to be nicer with his wife. I don't think he gives a shit. He wants to hit that ball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've got to be careful what I say. People will misunderstand. Thank you, Justin. <laughs> Stay in touch, Justin. Stay in touch. Uh, anybody, anything finishing up here? I hear Koch in the kitchen moving pans around. That's it. This is uh, Bob. Um, you were talking about how fast those sensei was in. It reminded me of a story I heard from uh, Abe Sensei, who was his calligraphy teacher. Mm -hmm. They were riding in a car, and the car got stuck on a railroad track. And oh, that story, yes. Yeah, Go ahead. And Abe Sensei was in that car with him, and the train is kind of barreling down. Looks like it's going to collide with the car. So he's getting ready to throw himself on top of O Sensei to see if he can save him. And he looks over, yeah, and O Sensei was doing exactly what you just showed. And the car moved off the track. Yeah. And, you know, riding around in a car, he probably wasn't uh, initially in some uh, refined state necessarily, but when he needed it, it was right there. Yeah. Yeah. Magic shit would happen. Uh, but for those of you who've almost been, well, I don't think uh, Danny's on tonight. Uh, he's recuperating. Um, uh, but I've had those. You know, my motorcycle is almost under the tires of the big rig and something happened. Uh, uh, the train story is just that level at a more advanced degree. It's following that pattern. It's just more advanced. So we hear a different story whether the taxi itself jumped up and moved off, moved in or, or what, what, whatever. There's a couple of different stories of guys who are in the taxi. 
I don't think they really knew what happened anyway, because boom, it just sort of happened, right? Uh, but it was since they had certain reminding things about his setup, uh, that was one of them. Uh, holding a fan, he had this thing he would do a lot. That was his reminder for something in his process. I can throw out a few guesses, but I don't want to. But just, uh, it wasn't unusual to see him holding a stick or something. Okay. Or that, or a fan, or what the hell ever. It was his reminder about his set. Uh, see, even as an old man, who is Sheba, apparently it's still nice to have a reminder about bing, 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 bang. Uh, we can't get, get caught up in our humanity and oh, I hear it every day. Isn't it crazy out there in the world? It's like, yeah, but I don't know how much I want to talk about it. You know it. I know it. Do we have to keep going around? Because pretty soon I'm going to get caught up in the crazy. And I can't go too much into the crazy and more in there because I'm a crazy son of a bitch. I'm telling you, I get caught up in that insanity. You tighten me in there a bit. I don't want to go there. Been there. Don't want to get into that level. Okay. So, yeah, we all know it's crazy. Do we have to keep talking about it and showing examples? I think we have to be careful there. All right. Because uh, then you start with your neighbor. Oh, I can I can come up with a better example than your worst example. Oh, well, there's my example. And then he'll try to up you one, and he'll come up with an even worse example. And then we are getting caught up in this. So you got to be careful. I do what the hell you want, but I suggest you're careful with the insanities of the world. Yes, but there's also this inner reality, which is true more true than the craziness. Yeah. So I would prefer if we could tap this truth, have that and the emanations from that level of truth present. We had enough folks, maybe that would counterbalance the off balance of the world's off. The universe is off balance. Uh, maybe that could help counterbalance. You're not going to bring the universe back into balance by adding to the how insane you think it is. You know, or if we can get rid of all the Democrats, or sorry, these days the Republicans, get rid of all the Republicans, all will be well. Are you fucking people crazy? <laughs> what are you doing? Right. Getting caught up in more insanity. Inner, 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 inner. When I said they talked a lot about this social uh, lovey-dovey people stuff, he didn't mean at that people level holding hands. He said, oh, yeah, they're going to do that social stuff, that cute. But this inner stuff is what he was really referring to. You want to talk about oneness of beings or something. Inner, finer uh, domain levels plus now we have a chance, but not in sing kumbaya together, bitching about Republicans or Muslims or who the hell ever, <laughs> gun owners <laughs> or whoever. It's insane. What are you doing? Kind of thing. I think I should finish up before I say something. I, I believe, Sensei, that you've okay. already trampled most most uh, politically collect, correct norms uh, yes. enough for one night. Yes. I have a history of being a balloon popper. As soon as you have these crazy ideas, I pop that balloon whenever possible. Part of my makeup. Sorry about that. Don't come into my house with balloons, people. <laughs> okay. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you got something out of this. Thank uh, you very much, Sensei. Whatever. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Sensei. Have a good Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Sensei. Good night, all. Night, Lauren. Thank you. Richard, I'll get that note out for you tomorrow morning. Much appreciated. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, well, thanks, Lauren. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Bye.